your girl Carrie and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. By the title, you already see what this video is about, so we're gonna hop right into it. it. So, if you are new here, obviously you don't know, but you need to catch up and keep up with Carrie. Me and my husband just had a new baby March 9th. This is my baby Roman. We won't be showing Roman's face. This is the most you're gonna get of Roman. Say hey, Roman. Anyway. Um, I wanted to record this video today because I am a first time mom and a new mommy and this is a safe space for new mommies and first time moms as well. Um, and I just want to share some thoughts of how I'm feeling this week. By the time you see this video it will be four, four weeks postpartum and he will be one month old already. My God, it's been um, a complete journey. But I just want to be completely transparent with you guys on how I'm feeling and just share um, some things I've noticed and this, that, and the third. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so first of all, Obviously, motherhood is not easy. As cute as they are, they will get on your last nerve. And um, when I first came home from the hospital, I was more emotional than anything. I was so overjoyed. And I, me and my husband, um, shout out to the present fathers. Shout out to the amazing husbands. Shout out to, just shout out to y'all, period. My husband is so awesome. He does an amazing job. I am a stay at home mom slash wife now. Um, <laughs> And uh, my husband, he does an amazing job with the both of us. He tends to my needs as well as uh, our sons. And he's just amazing. And I love to see him in that father role. So it was very emotional for me when he went back to work because, you know, I just love seeing him in the element. Girl, I'm looking at pictures of them two that I took and I was crying. And I'm just like, oh my God, like seeing your husband become a husband to you is nothing compared to see them, uh, compared to seeing them be a father to you guys' child and it was just amazing and i was just like oh my god like this is this is my life right now and it's amazing to say the least but it is very difficult and i just want to share um you know some some of the challenges that i have faced so um our son he is um combo feeding he has formula and he's on the breast now he's solely on the breast because the formula um, gave him gas so he is still dealing with the gas issues but mommy and daddy are doing everything they can um their digestive system is very small and it has to get used to you know those it's like they're like versions basically and so with that being said um he deals with the gas more so at night and so um you know i reached out to his doctor we have gas drops we have the gripe water uh, we're doing everything we can but again this is just a season that he has to pass through being that he's so young and his digestive system is just getting used to uh the breast milk as well as the formula so we did remove the formula he always makes the sound we did remove the formula um and i'm solely breastfeeding i'm not even pumping right now i just pop out the boob and give it to him i like that better because it's easier for me and i do want to shed some light on breastfeeding on my breastfeeding journey so far um it is a mental thing and it can be why is this hand in my shirt you don't own me um it can be very challenging let's just call it for what it is very challenging and i feel like overall motherhood is that but it's a beautiful thing and as far as it go for breastfeeding at the end of the day whether you're breastfeeding or giving your baby formula a fed baby is a happy baby that's all that matters i'm grateful that i wanted to breastfeed and i am able to um, i'm so grateful for that but don't beat yourself up give yourself some grace because we're all no none of this comes with instructions you know and um i'm grateful for the journey and i just want to say to the people who have um family members or friends who are new moms try your best not to give unsolicited advice because it's like nothing is worse than hearing someone give advice you didn't ask for about a situation that you're trying to deal with the best you can you know what i mean it's like we all have to learn we all have our own experiences it's the same with being pregnant everybody is different and what you might have done with your child 40 50 30 years ago it's not the same now you know so with that being said i feel like black people we always have like a remedy for something like within with gas like oh give him this like i'm not giving him that like i'm going to do what the doctor tells me to do that's just my choice but i feel like a lot of times we always know the answer and he's just gonna have to run this course this is just a season of his life that we're dealing with right now he's not hurt he's not constipated he's healthy but he just has gas and so we're dealing with it the best we can but i'm just saying you guys just be mindful and be considerate of a person's feelings especially as a new mom it's scary you don't know it doesn't come with instructions but you learn and you learn to do what works for you and your family that is okay that leads to my next point that was breastfeeding um yeah overall 
I love the fact that I love how convenient it is for me now because with pumping girl I was exhausted I mean trying to pump and you so tired and the baby's up at night and then trying to put your boob on the pump for 15 minutes absolutely not and I have the one I don't have like the the cordless ones I would prefer those I'll probably get those eventually I have the one that has a cord um, it didn't need to be plugged in, but you can bring it with you, but you have to hold the pumps. Like, uh, it was just too much for me. So I'm glad that I did make this choice to switch because I can just give it to him. We do skin to skin and you know, that's it. So, excuse me, you know, don't beat yourself up. Do the best you can. I just wanted to, you know, talk to you guys a little bit about that. Um, like I said, by the time you see this video, we will be uh, a month postpartum already my stomach is going down breastfeeding helps with that breastfeeding does a lot of things um, but you really just have to be careful it's a learning process as well but um, my stomach is going down I do have to buy a postpartum belly band um, what else we love um, co-sleeping he likes to take naps with me obviously I'm very safe when it comes to that but um, he spends a lot of time with mommy. He's on with mommy all day. And then he comes home with dad. And I love like when my husband come home and just seeing him and him together. Like it's just amazing. I'm just so grateful for this new season of my life, regardless of the challenges. At nighttime, Roman does sleep, but he does wake up for about three hours where he wants to play. Uh, obviously, you know, they confuse day and night, but they do need their sleep. So like after this, he can already get his behind up because we're going to work on um, being up throughout the evening so he can go to sleep at night but um I love taking naps with him um, and he loves taking naps with me too sometimes he just want mama you know how they do but um I love it to say the least he's so cute you'll see you guys see him eventually but not right now but um you know he's so he's adorable I love him and he's my little person you know, but I just wanted to come and give you guys some words of encouragement if you are a first time mom or a new mom. Even if you aren't and you, you know, have obviously went through this before. Drop some, some heartfelt comments down below and just encourage us because we're really trying out and we're killing the game. The fact that God like allowed, like created us to do this, I know we can do this. And I did get frustrated one night and I'm just like, I pray for everything, okay? And I'm like, God, look. I'm exhausted. Like I told Roman, like you getting on my nerves now, and that was a real feeling. And it's okay. Obviously, I don't think about harming myself or my baby, but you know, when you tired, you just tired. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And he was just looking at me and laughing anyway. But um, you know, it's just amazing that God allows us to do this, and He allows us to reproduce and carry these babies and just deal with this as well. It's um a, a, an amazing thing. But like anything, nothing good comes easy. So as they grow up and you guys begin to learn each other things get easier and that's just that so i just wanted to come and talk to you guys and give you guys a little update on what is happening in the games household uh everything is great it's amazing i'm learning to um i'm adjusting to his schedule obviously they say you know sleep when the baby sleep but sometimes it just don't work out like that so do what works for you at the end of the day do what works for you do what's best for you and your child and just be happy and enjoy these moments so that's gonna be it for this video i love you guys please be sure to like comment and subscribe we're on the road to 1k it's been a long time coming i'm so excited about it so with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye